Subject says, Who can I trust? Nobody. That's the truth. Hi, Ava Cammy. My name is Brittany. I'm 25. I live in Ontario. Another Canadian catfish. And I could really use your help. Three years ago, I got a message from Mark. We chatted a bit, but I wasn't feeling him, so the conversation died off. This past March, though, we started talking again. And while he's a fun, nice guy, something feels off. Mark lives nearby, but he still won't meet. How can he live so close and never be able to see me? But I was okay getting to know him. Mark is a good guy, and we actually have a mutual friend who says he's the real deal. I trust my friend, but starting to really question what's up with Mark. If he's legit, why can't we meet or FaceTime? Nothing's lining up. And there's a whole situation with my ex, which makes this more complicated. How is her ex involved? That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. I need to figure out who I'm really talking to and whether or not there could be a relationship here. Or I'm being played for a fool. Brittany. It's the friend. That is the sort of easiest conclusion. It's obviously the right. friend. I'm gonna text Brittany. We have to free this Brittany and the other Brittany because it's getting crazy. Hey. Hi, guys. Wow, nice exposed brick. I know. Is that real? It's like, yeah, it is real. Wow. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. So um, I'm actually a welder. That's what I do um, as my profession. MIG or TIG? I do MIG and stick welding. I have no idea what that means. So yeah, I've been doing that for five years now. Wow. Tell us about this mystery Mark. So three years ago, he messaged me on Facebook, but the weird part is we have no mutual friends on Facebook. And he said, hey, I seen a nude picture of you. Um, I think you're hot. Messaged me back. And I said, what are you talking about? And he's like, oh, it was up on this revenge site. That's creepy. Wow. God. But yeah, if Mark hadn't have told me, I wouldn't have known. So that's pretty much how we started talking. I was just inquiring about like how he would even know about that. How can a revenge porn website even exist? It's sick, yeah. Does anyone have access to nude photos of you? So this is the thing. So my last relationship was actually um, with my supervisor from work. Billy, there was something that attracted me to him instantly, and I fell in love, and I was in love with him for a couple years before finding out that he was married. We did have a relationship, but it, it pretty much ended as fast as it started. So he had an affair with you? Yeah. And did Billy have nude photos of you? Yeah and it ended up ending pretty bad. His wife found out, so he went to try to work things out for the sake of his daughter. He ended up losing his job. He almost lost his house. Everything just was up in flames. So that was in the back of my head to know that Billy's wife could possibly post the picture because it was right after me and Billy, we had broken up. That Mark told me about this nude picture. He said that he just came across it. But didn't uh, you find that weird as hell? Like, yes, first of all, yes, I did. why are uh, you on this revenge porn website yeah. even looking yes. at anything on there? And then you hit me up to tell me that you think I'm hot? It was so creepy to me. I didn't know who the heck this guy was. I told him about the whole supervisor affair and he wanted to know all about it. And I was weirded out. So I didn't message him for the last two years up until this past March. And then Mark reached out to me. He just messages me and goes, oh yeah, there's this Bill guy at my house. It was so weird how he said it, how he even brought it up. It was bizarre. And yeah. then he was like, oh, I'll describe him. He's tall, he's always wearing a hat. He's like a conspiracist which describes Billy. So then I'm like, his last name's not is it? And he's like, actually, yeah, it is. So he said, yeah, this Bill guy stays at my house often. Billy stays at Mark's house? That's what he said. Come um, on. Because the call is coming from inside the house because Billy is Mark. <laughs> well, wait, Brittany, obviously you've considered that Mark could be Billy. 
So I didn't, uh, I was, I kind of was blind to it at first. I didn't really realize that it could be Billy until just recently. When Mark had messaged me saying, oh, maybe your supervisor still thinks about you. Maybe this whole time he's been thinking he chose wrong. Oh you my know, maybe, God. Maybe him and his wife aren't together. And he ended up giving me Billy's new number. Now that I've read the messages over again with the mindset of it could be Billy, it all just makes sense to me now. Uh, I'm starting to get this. So you're hoping it's Billy behind all this? Yeah. Right. So have you started talking to Billy again on that new number that Mark gave you? Yeah. Well, on the other hand, how do you know that that number that Mark gave you is actually Billy's new number? Have you talked to Billy on the phone? Um, I have once, but it was, uh, it was phone sex and it was late at night and quiet. Recently? Uh, yeah, like uh, a month ago, maybe. Wait a second, Brittany. so you and Billy are sort of back on. Yeah. What's up with his wife? Um, he tells me that he's leaving her, that they're getting divorced, but then Mark tells me that they're not even together. Brittany, you know they never leave the wife. On your phone call with him, was it undeniably clear that it was him? Uh, Are you sh certain you were talking to Billy? No. No, because it was quiet. It was juicy. If it's Billy, then it shouldn't be hard for you to just, like, FaceTime him. He says that he will see me once he leaves his wife. And I say, what's the difference when you're already texting me, receiving pictures from me, sending pictures to me? What kind of pictures is he sending? Like, um, the lower half. <laughs> no face. Is it definitely his body? Yes. So, to some degree, Mark doesn't even really matter. Right. Because you're just talking to Billy now, and you're not interested in Mark, right? No. I thought I was. He actually cared about, like, how was my day? Did you eat today? Oh, you need $20 for gas for your car? Here, I got you. He sends you money? It wasn't actually Mark. It was his cousin, Joanne. Why did Joanne send you money for Mark? I asked Mark to send me $20 so I could get um, gas for my car. And what about Billy? Has he sent you any money? No, but Billy had me go to his house to pick up like a care package that had like alcohol, weed. Um, Wait. I've done I've done that several times. So recently, since you started talking to Billy again, he's said, "Hey, I've got I left you a care package at my house. Come pick it up." Yeah. And what, like sitting out in the backyard under a bush so this, or something? No. <laughs> the Easter no, egg so card. It was right beside his wife's car um, because apparently. Brittany, was... you are trying to get slapped up. Yeah. Why would he put you in a scenario where you would go to the house where his wife lives, be next to her car, property, in any kind of way? I said, like, you know, I don't feel right going there. And I had let him know that. And he's like, oh, no, don't worry. She's downstairs in the basement. What? But why would you even risk it? This is super weird. We need to pray. I mean, what is going on? He's you are an attractive young, young lady with a job chasing after this scoundrel. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> the anxiety that I feel, I need Billy to send me a care package. <laughs> Don't you want to just leave these people behind and start fresh? I'm invested in Billy, though. I've been in love with him for years. Like, I have literally spent the last three years missing, missing Billy every day. He taught me a lot of things. He's the person who helped me get my welding certificates. Like, I, I grew as a person because of him. And even if there's, like, a slight percentage of me being with Billy and being happy, I, I have to explore it because yeah, I would always be like, what if the rest of my life? Can we see a picture of Billy? So this is the thing with Billy is he hates photos. He doesn't take photos. You're saying you don't have a photo of the guy that you dated? I don't have one. Wow. No face, no trace, Neef. <laughs> That's what he says. He said it's uh, incriminating to have photos. All right. I'm going to be talking about this in therapy on Tuesday. <laughs> this is complicated. It's not our place to tell you who to love and not love, but I think it's clear from our reaction to, to hearing your story. It's like alarm bells just going off. Well, look, okay. Send us an email with whatever Facebook page or phone numbers you have. Okay. Let us do some research and we'll see where we're at. Okay. Right, we'll talk soon, Brittany. Okay, bye guys. Thank bye. you. Bye. <laughs> I think we're in, it's just in over our heads with this one. Yes. Very I mean, much. look, there's a version of this where it's just 
a catfish. Somebody who knew about the affair, who became aware of the revenge porn, maybe liked her. Someone who knows Britney is behind this, for sure. Right. She's just as much at fault here. She's fully at fault here. Right. It's like I want to hug her and I want to shake her at right. the same time because what the f are you doing? There is no version of this story ending well for Britney. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 